Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by attending the launch of the Guyana Islamic Trust at the Muslim Youth Organization. His Excellency President Irfan Ali spoke highly of the values of charity, kindness and equality. He said during Islam Awareness Week, Muslims should reflect on these attributes of Prophet Muhammad and apply them to everyday life and community development. On Sunday, President Ali delivered the feature address at the launch of the stem cell therapy for the treatment of chronic and autoimmune diseases and cancer. His Excellency President Irfan Ali underscored that the launch is a bold and innovative step. President Ali also announced plans by his administration to establish a National Medical Scientific Council. He noted the importance of medical science and its relation to medical care, facilities and technology. This is important for us. What is applicable and practical for our development. And that requires those who are part of medical care to go back to their foundation of medical science and understand first they're part of the medical the community that deals with medical science and support policy making and policy decisions in moving towards a scientific approach in uh, distributing better medical care to our people. The president noted that the new developments would not have been possible without the legal regulatory platform through which the science can evolve. Nothing here could have been discussed if we did not take the steps forward. So modernizing the legal environment in which urban and regional planning, medical science, and all that we're doing will evolve is exciting things, but it requires time, effort, it requires a lot of reading, it requires application of theory. Theory is nothing. Theory is cramming and passing an exam. Application of theory is much more complex than understanding theory. President Ali is also pleased with the direction in which both private and public health care are headed, but noted that there is still a lot to accomplish. On Thursday, the head of state who delivered the feature address at the GDF's annual officers conference at base camp said that his government will develop a modern air corps and coast guard for the Ghana Defense Force GDF to ensure that the country is never found wanting when it comes to responding to security threats. You will notice today that I'm taking a different approach at this officers conference because I believe that at this midterm juncture, we need to evaluate where we are in relation to the planned objectives that we set ourselves and to reorient ourselves with the new challenges and the consequences of the action and actions and decisions that we took that will aid the continued development and expansion of the Ghana Defense Force. Dr. Ali said soldiers must be retooled to better respond to complex challenges which may face the nation in the future. The Ghana Defense Force must be able to develop a strategy in relation to uh, food crisis, energy crisis, fuel crisis. If, for example, <clears throat> there is a crisis in the supply of fuel and we don't, we don't have fuel for a period of three, four days, we know the consequences of that. We, not, we must not be reactive because we are identifying that as a challenge now. Later that afternoon, the head of state addressed the launch of Dura Villa's 1,000-plus modular homes initiative. He noted that with the innovative drive in place and the vision of the private sector, Guyana has the potential also to support the region's housing needs. Guyana market is no longer Guyana. Guyana market is the world market. We don't only have wood. Let me be very clear. We don't only have wood. We have the best quality wood in the world. We don't only have a forest. We have the most sustainably managed forest in the world. And it is time we deploy our strength to the benefit of the country. And that is why this investment is so important. 
The president also announced plans to construct 50 resort-style luxurious wooden homes. Not only will the settlement be constructed using 100% Guyanese timber and labor, but will also feature trees sourced from Guyana's forests to give its residents a fully rustic living experience. In order to celebrate the luxury of wood, wood is not cheap. In order to celebrate the luxury of wood, we'll be embarking on our first luxurious wooden home settlement in Guyana, where only those who want luxury will reside, focusing on young professionals. We intend to work on a specific project of 50 homes, all wooden, going back to our colonial style heritage mixed with modern architecture, building a forest green, completely green, eco-friendly, resort style, luxury housing. His Excellency met with members of the Guyana Football Federation, GFF, and other football stakeholders on Thursday, where he was updated on the plans for development of football beyond the one Guyana President's Cup, and a committee was established to explore further development of the country's national team. On Thursday afternoon, President Ali and members of his cabinet received more than 80 students and teachers from the number 56 primary school in Burbies for a tour of the office of the president. On Friday, President Ali swore in the two remaining members of the Teaching Service Commission at State House. President Ali congratulated the new members and expressed hope that they would work towards strengthening the education system and ensuring a fair and equitable environment for all teachers. Well, I want to congratulate you and wish you well on uh, this journey as we seek to further strengthen our education system, as we seek to ensure we build a uh, institutional environment in which our teachers are treated fairly, uh, in which the process of governance continues to improve and deliver in a manner in which all can find uh, acceptable standards and can find uh, good governance. This is an important part of good governance. This was the President's Diary where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.